Crazy Days is a common retail festival for many downtowns in greater Minnesota. However, this year, the Bemidji Downtown Alliance has decided to go a different direction. Uh, Josh Peterson explains. For decades, the first Saturday in August has always been known as Crazy Days in Bemidji. But after the announcement made by the Bemidji Downtown Alliance that there will no longer be a Crazy Days event sponsored or organized by the BDA, many businesses are going crazy for an all-new reason. Uh, crazy Days has always been one of the most important days of the year for uh, downtown Bemidji and, and for the uh, shops and for Bemidji Woolen Mills. And, uh, you know, it's unfortunate that the, the Downtown Alliance is no longer uh, funding it, but uh, I've talked to several merchants downtown, and they, and they agree that it's still a critically important um, event for uh, the merchants that are still located downtown. Many boutiques and shops throughout downtown Bemidji expressed frustration and concern, but did not want to appear on camera. According to the BDA, a steady decline in participation in Crazy Days is what ultimately led to the decision of canceling Crazy Days. However, there may be something new in the future. It's been a tradition for years and years downtown. The problem was we just weren't having that many BDA businesses that were participants. So we thought that our time and effort could be better spent um, organizing different events um, that would actually highlight and enhance our downtown too. For some downtown businesses, it will be business as usual and will still run a Crazy Days type sale that first Saturday in August. I think it still has merit. I still think it has value. And I still think it'll be a very interesting day for people to come down and a fun day for people to come down to downtown Bemidji. For Lakeland News, I'm Josh Peterson. Now, some businesses in downtown Bemidji have formed a committee and are working to create a new Crazy Days event for downtown businesses this summer. We'll keep you updated if that progresses. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.